Are you a mother? I am a mother by marriage. By marriage, I see. Um, and and you my are... wife is here with me, so I'm really glad that she's here. Rather our, Sharon Klein. Ms. Weingarten, Weingarten, I reclaim my time. I didn't ask you a question. Sorry. What I'd like to talk about is your recommendations to the CDC as not a medical doctor, not a biological mother, um, and, and really not a teacher either. You had no business advising the CDC what the medical guidelines were for school closures because now we have a nation of school children who have suffered because of it. The problem is, is people like you need to admit that you're just a political activist, not a teacher, not a mother, and not a medical doctor. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. I, I just want to make, just make note that um, the, the decorum of the attacks on the witness were unacceptable that the general lady from Georgia just did. And so it would be nice if we didn't attack the witnesses, um, particularly whether or whether, and making a decision about whether or not she's a mother. You are a mother. Thank you for, for, for being a great parent. Thank you. Your point of order is recognized, Mr. Garcia. Last week, Marjorie Taylor Greene got in trouble for insulting a witness at a committee hearing, and this week she chose to do the exact same thing again. She just never learns. Now, the woman who she was berating there was Randy Weingarten, the president of the second largest teachers union in America, and Marjorie Taylor Greene was lambasting her because she dared to recommend virtual learning in an effort to save lives during a global pandemic that ended up killing more than a million Americans. But we'll find out why Marjorie Taylor Greene specifically thinks that virtual learning is so bad in a moment here. But first, I just I have to address this claim that step parents are somehow not real parents. Not only is Randy Weingarten a parent by marriage, but she also adopted her wife's children. But because she's not a biological mother, she's not a real parent, according to Marjorie Taylor Greene, and thus she has absolutely no business making recommendations about children. That should be left up to the real parents, according to Marjorie Taylor Greene. And to make this insinuation is just so incredibly insulting because she's speaking about millions of Americans on both sides of the political aisle. According to Pew Research, 42% of Americans have a step relative. That can be a step sibling, a step parent, or a step child. And furthermore, this isn't a woke liberal phenomenon because as this Twitter user points out, Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett is also an adoptive parent. But according to Marjorie Taylor Greene, that doesn't make her a real mother. It's just messed up. I mean, families come in all shapes and sizes. So to insult millions of families for no apparent reason, I mean, it's just so very on brand for Marjorie Taylor Greene. But there's a specific reason why Marjorie Taylor Greene was so mad at Randy Weingarten's support for distance learning during the pandemic. And she claims that um, the reason why there are so many trans people, trans kids specifically now, is because of distance learning. I'm not joking. She actually suggested here that distance learning during a pandemic led to a mass transing of the kids. Let's listen. Anxiety, depression, all kinds of problems happen to kids. And then ironically, here's something that was shocking to me. And I'll bring this up to you. You know what else happened? While kids were forced to stay home and you approve of this, the diagnosis of youths with gender dysphoria surged. This is literally 2020, but yet this is 2021. And this is a problem. This is a major problem. And the direct effect of school closures can be seen here. These are diagnoses, diagnoses of gender dysphoria. And you can see it sharply increased after 20, 20 and 21. It went up. The rates went up. So kids were forced to stay home into so-called virtual learning where they were spending a lot of time on social media, and all of a sudden we see a direct result of this. And this is, a, this is a major problem. But the other problem is, is you had no business advising the CDC what the medical guidelines were for school closures, because now we have a nation of school children who have suffered because of it. I don't know about you, but I am thoroughly convinced. Now, <laughs> There's a lot to say about that. First of all, Marjorie Taylor Greene is one of these imbeciles who also screeches about the rise in trans people due specifically to social contagion, meaning it's a fad and kids see that other kids are trans and they want to be trans too to be part of the cool kids club. But claiming that there's a rise in gender dysphoria diagnosis 
because of school closures is kind of antithetical to that claim, is it not? So, I mean, is it a fad that kids are latching onto when they see their friends do it? Or is the lack of socialization causing them to transition because they're bored and they're not with their friends? So they're thinking, hmm, I think I'll transition tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> the answer is actually very simple. As more people come out and being trans becomes more accepted and normalized in American society, more people who are already trans and non-binary will come out. Because between the 1910s and 1940s, there was a sharp increase in left-handed people after it was no longer a social taboo to use your left hand. But eventually, that line leveled out, and the true number of actual lefties was revealed. And that same exact phenomenon is happening right now, albeit with LGBTQ plus people. But I don't want to suggest that Marjorie Taylor Greene can be persuaded by empiricism or data or peer-reviewed studies because that's impossible. She is a deeply unserious political hack and the remaining working brain cells that she has left are being used to constantly remind her to breathe so she doesn't forget to and spontaneously suffocate. So, of course, she's not capable of learning or absorbing any new information like normal people. But as she continues to insult millions of Americans for absolutely no reason, people who would otherwise agree with her because there are Republican families who also have step relatives too. You know, she's just doing herself a disservice. So keep talking, Marjorie Taylor Greene, because uh, you're just making yourself less popular and you're doing fucking great, sweetie. So keep it up. Were you acting like a